What would an eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano look like? On Sunday, the worst earthquake in about 30 years rattled the Yellowstone supervolcano. Overall, there have been at least 25 significant earthquakes at Yellowstone National Park since Thursday, but it is the 4.8 earthquake that has many observers extremely worried. Could such a large earthquake be a sign that the Yellowstone supervolcano is starting to draw to life after all this time? And if it does erupt, what would that mean for the rest of the country? As you will see below, a full-blown eruption at Yellowstone would be absolutely catastrophic. It is estimated that such an eruption could dump a 10-foot deep layer of volcanic ash up to 1,000 miles away and render much of the nation uninhabitable for years to come. In essence, it would instantly bring the United States to its knees. It is true that it is normal for Yellowstone to experience up to 3,000 earthquakes a year. But most of those earthquakes are extremely small and nothing to worry about. But the 4.8 earthquake that struck on Sunday is definitely raising eyebrows, especially considering what else has been going on at Yellowstone lately. For example, the scientists that monitor Yellowstone are telling us that the area where the earthquake was centered has been experiencing ground uplift in recent months. A University of Utah release said that the quake area had experienced a ground uplift since August and that seismicity in the general region of the uplift has been elevated for several months. I don't know about you, but the fact that the largest volcano in the U.S. by far has been experiencing ground uplift is not very comforting to me. Late last year a new study into the enormous supervolcano found the underground magma chamber to be 2.5 times larger than previously thought, a cavern spanning some 90 kilometers by 30 kilometers and capable of holding 300 billion cubic kilometers of molten rock. If the sleeping giant were to wake, the outflow of lava, ash and smoke would devastate the United States and affect the entire world.